Okay, so today we're going to try a small experiment. We're going to try to charge up some of these uh, door cell quantum. These are those new red ones that you see around a lot. And uh, what I have here is I have this Vivitar alkaline nickel metal hydride charger, supposedly to charge alkalines. And I have an Opus ETC3400 here. So let's. Uh, Let's put a couple in here. You see 1.43 there. 1.33 there. Okay, I got two more here. Let's see. I'm just going to plug them in here so we can see the voltage on them. 1.33. 1.33. All right. So what we're going to do is put these two in this this one. Now, according to this, red means it's charging. If it changes to blinking red and green, that means it's activating. Reactivating alkalines. So right now, it's supposedly reactivating our alkalines. This is the milliamps that it's charging at. You can see it's going down rapidly. It's probably uh, as the uh, voltage goes up, it goes down. Let's see what they're up to. Okay, this one's up to 1.56, and this one's up to 1.49. This is one I already was playing around with before I started the camera. But basically, all these were exactly the same voltage, 1.33. which I'm surprised usually one goes down but these seem to go down evenly in the camera that I was using them in okay now over here it says still activating now supposedly this reactivates the batteries this one usually doesn't charge these so I don't I don't know why it's uh, charging them without a problem Anyway, we'll come back in about 10 minutes and uh, see where we're at with them. Okay, it's 10 minutes later. It's 10 minutes later. And the ones in the Vivitar are still activating. Over here we got one that's saying full and one that's saying it's still charging. It's up to 1.5. It's already down to 1.45. I'd say this this is a bust over here. We can't charge alkalines with this charger. Let me check the voltage on them. Let's see. Yeah, 1.46. And 1.43. Hmm. And I'm thinking they're not going to hold their charge too long. So, we're going to get this charger out of the way. And we're going to uh, put the other two back into this charger and come back. Okay, we can see these. These two are still activating. Yeah, I must have uh, messed with the cord. Okay, they're still activating. You can see by this chart. Blinking red and green. Flashing on an alkaline battery here. Means it's activating. Alright, now we're getting a green light. That means it's fully charged. So let's take one out and see uh, what kind of voltage we got. They feel a little warm. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we got 1.57. Not bad. And 1.54. Hmm. Okay, not bad. 
So what we're going to do is try the other two. And we're just going to leave these two sit here. And we're going to come back and check the voltage and see if it actually holds the voltage that it says it had in it, you know, a minute ago. 1.53 and 1.57. And uh, we'll come back in 10 minutes and see how it's going. Okay. It's been another 10 minutes and I just came back and it started flashing like this. I didn't touch it. Let's see what that means. I think that means it's charged. Okay, solid green means it's charged. Now, let's uh let's test them. Yeah, something's telling me 10 minutes to charge it isn't really a lot, but it was only at 132. Alright, we got 1.56 and 1.58 on this one. So that's 1.58, 1.56. Remember that. Okay, now let's go back to these older ones that we charged earlier. 1.46 and 1.45 hmm doesn't seem to be holding the charge too long let's put pop them in there again and see what, what we can do with it see if they charge and they're saying activating again Let's leave them go for 10 more minutes. And uh, we'll come back and check these two. And we'll come back and check these in 10 more minutes. Okay, it's about 10 minutes later. And they're both showing that they're charged. Solid green, fully charged, fully reactivated rather. Hmm. Well, let's check it out, see what they uh, measure up to. One point five one. One point five one. Hmm, that's promising. Let's see what these are now. They were 1.58, remember? 1.46. 1.46. So I wonder if running them through a second time, like I did with these, will make them work any better. So I'm going to run these through a second time. See, this is an odd charger. The battery's going upside down. I'm going to run these through a second time. And we're going to come back and we're going to measure these, which are 1.51. See if they're still 1.51. And we're going to see if we can get these to uh, hold the charge better. So we'll be back in uh, 10 minutes. Well, it's been about a little over 10 minutes now. These things are still activating, supposedly. And they're a little warm due to touch. Well, we're gonna, let's test these to see if they held their charge. Well, that's promising, 1.49. was 1.51. And 1.49. Four nine, both of them. So maybe if there's two charges, they're holding their charge better. Anyway, we're still waiting on these two. Getting a little warm, and uh, I guess we'll come back in about five more minutes.
Okay. Yeah, it's about five minutes later now. I just noticed the lights went green, so we're going to uh, pop these out and check them again. A little warm to the touch. No sign of leakage yet. Let's see if this uh, checker works. Checker showing a full green. See that? Showing full green there too. All right, let's check them. See what kind of voltage we got. Should be more than 1.5. All right, 1.56. One point five six. Let's see if these are still one point four nine or if they've gone down. Oh they are. One point four nine. One point four nine. Nice. Seems they're uh seems to be holding the charge better if they're uh, twice in there. Hmm. Wonder what would happen if I put it in for a third time. Yeah, let's try that. In the meantime, we'll leave these two here. Let's see what happens here. Alright, still in activating mode. And we'll come back in 10 minutes. Okay. It's about 10 minutes later. We can see the one battery is done. Brought my meter over here so we can see what the voltages are. And we'll let that one go a little bit. Let's check these again. Remember these were 1.56. 1.51. 1.52. So it's showing some promise. 1.5. Okay. <clears throat> now if this one could just get done, well, we could take this one out and check it. One point four nine. And you know these aren't even warm to the touch like before, so it's not really doing anything right now. This one maybe it's a little warm. One point sixty. Hmm. Yeah, let's put that back in. It wasn't quite finished yet. Let's put this one in a different slot because it wasn't getting warm. It really wasn't doing anything. All right. All right, so we're going to see how that goes for the third time. Be back in 10 minutes with the results. Okay, I guess it's been about 15 minutes now I came back. And these are charged up again. They don't feel warm. Let's see if they uh, charged up anymore. Let's see. 1.5. So no, they didn't charge up anymore. 1.51. Now let's see if these are holding their charge still. Mm, 1.48. So they're going down. Although slowly. 1.48. At least they're consistent. Now I guess the true test will be when I use them to see how fast they uh, die down. Anyway, that ends this experiment. Can we charge alkaline batteries with this thing? Remains to be seen. I'm going to have to do further testing with these to see how fast they uh, lose their charge. 
I have a flashlight here. I'm going to try to mount on. Let's try these two. Well, that concludes our video. These seem to be holding a charge. So, like I said, remains to be seen. 1.5. I know I sound repetitive, but we gotta check them. This is what, what it takes. 1.5. Point four eight four seven. All right, so they seem to have charged up a bit. I don't know. I think I'd rather just go with rechargeables. But anyway, that's my test of this Vivitar alkaline battery charger. And uh, see you in the next video.